Hello everyone, Chris here reporting for United People's TV. Um, just a little weekly loan update for you this week. Because of the internationals affecting the domestic fixtures here and around the world, um, some of our players just aren't playing, but some of them are. So let's start with the goalkeepers. Victor Valdez for Standard Liège, there was no match. Kieran O'Hara in League 2 for Morecambe did have a game because Barry Roach is suspended, of course. So O'Hara is starting matches for Morecambe now. And he started the game at the weekend and they lost 2-0 to Plymouth, which is, isn't the best result for Morecambe. But I feel sorry for Kieran O'Hara because once again, Morecambe went down to 10 men. And when you've got 10 men, it's very hard to keep a clean sheet. It, it doesn't matter if you're De Gea or Neuer. If you've got 10 men, it's very hard to keep a clean sheet because the opposition are going to attack. They're going to put more pressure on. And chances are you're going to be in for a tough afternoon as a goalkeeper. Um, so I feel a bit sorry for Kieran O'Hara. That's it, His last two games he's been involved in, both times Morecambe have been with 10 men. So I don't think he's really had a fair crack at the whip, but I'm just I'm just delighted that he's getting matches. Um, now last week I focused on Tyler Blackett because I wanted to know where Tyler Blackett is. Like, where is he gone? Is he alive? Is he still playing football? And the response to that was great. I had a few people saying that they'd do some searches and try and find out what's happened to him, um, including my good friend Joe Pickles, all the way from Catalonia, got in touch with me and said, I've done a bit of research on him and I found out that he's actually in the Celtic development squad at the moment. So the Celtic development squad is basically the Celtic reserves. So he's alive and he is playing some sort of football, some kind of football. Um, the only question I have is, if we're sending loan players out to get first team experience at other clubs and they're not getting experience, they're just getting played in the reserves, then surely aren't they better off in our reserves back at Manchester United? Won't they get more out of our reserve, like training with the other reserve, other youth players at Manchester United and, and, and maybe being brought into the first team like Rashford or some of the other youngsters? You know, they've made the leap from our reserves to the first team, so surely isn't Tyler Blackett better off uh, in our reserves at the minute rather than at Celtics? Um, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out there. I'd love to know what you think. Um, but the good news is he's alive. I mean, that's, that's the main thing because I, I was seriously worried for the man last week because literally I'd heard nothing from him. Uh, but now we know he's all alive and well. Uh, we can move on to Nick Powell, who is unfortunately still injured at Hull City at the minute, and they didn't have a game either. Ashley Fletcher did have a couple of matches for, for Barnsley um, over the weekend. Um, oh, actually, he was left out of the first game, which was a nil-nil draw with Scunthorpe. I think he was just rested. And then he got brought back for the 1-0 win against Port Vale. And Port Vale were quite close to them in the league, so that was an important win for Barnsley. And that leaves Barnsley just outside the playoff places at the minute. So um, it's interesting times for Barnsley and Ashley Fletcher. Um, and finally, we come on to James Wilson. Now, James Wilson, there was no game this week. However, the next game for Brighton is huge absolutely massive it's against Burnley and that is first against second in the championship that is a massive game so it'll be interesting to see what part James Wilson plays in that um, because he was on good form going into the international break so um, let's let's see how he does let's see how he does um, I, as always like the video leave your comments in below because we at United People's TV love to hear from you um, subscribe if you haven't before and uh, take care everyone. See you later.